Alright, what's up guys, it's Fred and Steak here, and welcome back to some more Hearthstone Uncut. I seem incredibly tired, that's because I, uh... uh that's because I, uh, just woke up. 11.41. I, I've been staying up way too late, and keeping up really late too, but... I'm playing some Hearthstone Uncut, and we're going to play a fuck ton of it. Just gonna do some side quests before we start today off. Um, just why not? Because, you know, you always need some side quests in your life. Alright, this is Discard Warlock, but I like to have fun in this game, so. Let's fucking do it. Always love the banana buffoon and reckless dire troll combo. That's always a classic one. Happy feast of winter veil. Vale. Happy feast of winter veil. Vale. Vale. Says he's playing Crackling Razor Maw. What's he gonna do here, huh? But you got something like Stealth Poisonous or the plant one. Yeah, I got Fury. Get that off the board. So you can tie that bullshit. I was about to say, give me my fucking, uh, give me my taunts, you cheap schmuck. Get that out of there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 
sorry for being so tired. I just, I'm tired. So my commentary's a little shitty here. I uh, obviously, hybrid hunter, or face hunter, whatever the two may be here. You know, like, okay, that's really what this deck is. It just seems to be that this new, like, generation of Face Hunter or Spell Hunter just seems to be... <sighs> okay, I'll give you that. The Toxmonger play is pretty unique, actually. Please don't play anything else. Yeah, those don't get poisoned, you dumbass. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. He is one, two, three. It didn't give me. I am playing. It's fucking B. Fuck you. All right, we're playing some rank play death rattle. Death rattle hunter. Let's go, boys. Death card. Dude, death card lock just won there. You know that's. What the fuck? Rank fifteen is this card lock, brother? Is that is that what we're dealing with here? So this is gonna be odd mage. Um, I'll bet my left testicle on it. Going into Odd Mage, probably gonna dump that. Pl keep the play dead. Candle shot and flanking strike out of it. This is a pretty decent starting hand. I'd like to see Kalisov with that candle shot, but we can't all be winners, right? Beggars can't be choosers. So, actually, I would have preferred maybe an egg instead of flanking strike. <sighs> yeah. So, welcome to rank fifteen. Odd Mage shenanigans, you know, classic. No Lunith, though. I need to get rid of one of those trackings and put Flare into it. I've been saying that for like three episodes now, but I really need to just put Flare in there because it's a tech card to Secret Hunter, it's a tech card to this card because it literally negates, you know, say, probably negates like six damage, 12 damage, something like that because those explosive traps are extremely annoying. Um,. These mages also seem to run a little bit more uh, secrets than normal. So. <sighs> Catherine Winterwisp. Not exactly what I want to be seeing in my opening hand. Well, turn 8, that's fantastic. But, you know. Another thing with the odd mages that some people need to realize is that they run the Frostlich Jaina. Uh, Jaina? Jana? Frostless Jana, Jana, Jana. They run the, uh, they run the Frost Lich, uh, Jana, Jana. Oh my God, how did I say that? I think it's Jana. Frostless Jana, Jana, Jana. Oh my God, I forgot how the innkeeper says it. Uh, but they run that. They run, they run the Death Knight in this deck, which, um, for a couple of reasons, is very annoying. Uh, come on, game. Uh, for starters, in my god honest opinion, I think the Mage Death Knight is a lot more annoying than Bloodly Blood Reaver Gul'dan. Yeah, but Gul'dan brings back all those demons, yada yada yada. But a couple board clears, you know, you got the Void Lords and that stuff. You have that, but the Frost Lich Jaina is is incredibly annoying. Um, mainly that her minions turn into life seal. So you know, you play that on turn nine, or like you know, but it's it's. Uh, you know, you're, once you play that, you know, you summon a 3-6 water elemental with lifesteal, and then all your other elementals have lifesteal. But the problem with that is, um, anything on board has lifesteal, too. So you play Baron Gideon on turn 8 into that, you know, and then suddenly, you know, you're back to full health. 
Also, this match is incredibly slow for some reason. So, we'll see. I would have liked to see an egg at some point. But, uh, yeah, back to Frost, Lich, Janna. Um, you know, uh, Elemental Mage was, like, I might call it a tier 1 deck, maybe tier 2, tier 3. Uh, it was, it was right up there with Spiteful Summoner at one point, because it's, uh, it's synergies with elementals, uh, you have, like, the flame caller, the seven mana, was it five, five, seven, five, seven mana, five, five minion that deals five damage, something like that, there's a lot of elemental synergies that mage is really used with it, and the deck kind of fell off, because much like elemental mage, um, they're incredibly slow decks, um, especially for the, I'm gonna put something on the board, I'm gonna play flanking strike right here, oh, they're, in, they're incredibly slow decks, uh, my elemental shaman mage never will survive the ladder, because you either hit Kalamos on turn 8, or you don't, interesting, 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 Bit annoying here. Getting some card draw here. I'll give you a well played. So he's cycling for something. Does Stalker Rex are this early on in the game? Am I? Would I? Should I? Should I Death Stalker Rex are here? I can't get rid of this card. But I'm going to have no minions on the board here. I'm going to boop it in the nose. I'm going to play Death Stalker Rexstar and we'll call it a day. Yeah, I, I've been sleeping. I got like six hours of sleep today. I was up to two o'clock in the morning. Woke up at four o'clock. Kind of diddle dialed on my computer for a little bit. And then we're kind of, now we're here. I should probably at the end turn button, don't you think? Uh, whoops. Yeah, well, what are you saying, whoops? You think that, uh, you think I don't know how to do math? Whoa. Wow, I'm so afraid of that, huh? Wow. Oh, no, you have minions on the board. Whatever will I fucking do? Think that's really an oops? That's like a Rubber. Heed my call. There you go. Calamos Primal Lord. Something like that, right? What's this guy? Servant of Calamos. Calamos Primal Lord is the fucking shaman legendary dinner daddy. Wake the fuck up this morning. So we've got a couple plays we could do next turn. Sadly, I don't have Candle Shot coming into this. And this deck, man, deck is, this game has really been a stalemate here. Uh, I'm playing Catherine. I'm playing Catherine. That is, is go-to. Choice King Crush. Thank you. And let's create some board pressure here. So, sadly, he has nine cards in his hand, which really sucks ass. Yeah, so it's a blaze collar. So yeah, seven mana six six. That so he's gonna completely ignore Catherine. He's got a lot of elementals on the board, so I feel like he's going to. Uh... I feel like there's a Frost Lich Janna next turn, and I'm willing to bet money on it because he has so many elements on the board. If he doesn't, he's fucked. This is um, a cube of meat. Has a carnivorous cube. I don't know why I could call it cube of meat, but carnivorous cube has saved my saved my ass once again. Uh, let's see actually what he pulls out of this here. What the Flame strike everything on board. Pocket pick that, break through with that, but I don't think he realizes that I have a Devil Sword coming in right about now. 
that's how you do it, guys. It's bada bing, bada boom, some rank 15 grind. Give me that gold. Alright, ooh, a little short on a couple bit of gold here. Let's see what my costs are today. I already beat the Tavern Ball this week, so there's really no need to flex on that. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to reroll the Demon one. Because why not? Hey, there you go. Get a 60 gold quest. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. Let's keep it going, boys. More ranked play. For those of you turning into the stream, thank you very much. For those watching the YouTube video, I love you all. Please like and subscribe. I'm a good boy. All right. All right, just my mom texting me here. This is Paladin. Uh, sorry, a priest. So this could be a couple things. Zerk's cloning ar army. Uh, an OTK deck. I don't really know how to play against this, but this seems like a relatively decent starting hand. So I'll take this for what it's worth. We have the Spider Bomb Terra Scale Stock. And only that we have coins. So if he does develop a little bit of a... Alright, yeah, so this is, um, yeah, be Feast of Wintervale, so nothing coming out of here, I was drawing here, this kind of screams right now, the Zillax Carnivorous Cube combo, if I can get a play dead. We kind of need to play something on the board, don't we? So I will put out a spider bomb here. Alright. There's a couple things. I feel like this might be called Zerk's Cloning Gallery. You just, you can't be too certain. Problem is, he's got a lot of cards in his hand, too. So this kind of destroys the Witchwood Grizzly indirectly. Which, I mean, granted, good for him for doing that. Let's put, let's put, let's put, let's put four damage on face. Then coming into turn five, I think playing, what the fuck is this? This has to be Zerk's cloning gallery. This has to be Zerk's cloning gallery at this point here. No, no. I forgot about the magnetic... I always forget that's a mechanic in this game. Uh, what are we dealing with here? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. I'm trying to think here how to play this. Boom, boom. Go there. Cabal Shadow Priest is a bit of a thick card. Um, have on board here. Still has eight fucking cards in his hand. Super. We'll do it like that. Boom. Dusk Breaker, not too big of a surprise right there. He's gonna shadow visions. This just might be the uh the Alex Straza uh priest. Man, if we could get some sort of egg going here, that'd be so eight cards. That's gonna be just dog shit to actually play. 
I just feel like this might be also Zerk's cloning galaxy time. I want to say this does like a Rexa, but I am going to play him in this turn here. <sighs> Do I feel good about that play? No, not really, but... Mm, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Why, why, why would I even play that? Just because I'm not drawing any of the core cards I gotta get. And I need something to stick to the board here. And I feel like Dust Saga Rexar is gonna give me some infinite value here that I can definitely exploit. Um, it's also turn 8. So anything that I do have that can stick to the board is gonna be pretty important. No, oh, I misplayed. I misclicked. I meant to click the fucking cube of dick. I'm retarded. Okay. Well, I lost this game. What was I even thinking? I was thinking about literally it was Carnivorous Cube. I fucking grabbed the wrong fucking card. I'm actually dumb. I think I lost this game just because of that. Yeah, I fucking lost. This dude, yeah, this fuck this. I could have fucking mm, pissed. Hate myself. I hate this fucking game. Someone injured. <laughs> Alright, I think we gotta stall for big boy time now. Yeah, I think we gotta I think we gotta stall at this point here. Alright. Witchwood Grizzly into this boy. Boom. That's how we do it. We're stalling right now. This is stall game time. <sighs> Big stalling, boys. I mean, that's a lot of meat he's got to go through there. It's a lot of meat. Are you going to try psychic screaming it? Wow. Can you stop being gay? Fuck Cabal Shadow Priest. Do have no clue actually what this is. No, I haven't seen Cabal Shadow Priest in play in forever. Fucking assholes.
Fuck this game. Fucking bullshit. Fucking ball shit, dude. Let's run some Mecca soon, why not? Why the hell not? How the fuck not? <sighs> Numsy versus Garrosh. Some fun. Let's get rid of that siphon soul. Let's keep the galvanizer. Get blood bloom opening hand. Looks like the combo's already on our side. We've turned our curse into our strength, like that. Here we go. I feel like Mechathun could totally be a meta deck, and I really enjoy playing Mechathun, because there is a bit of strategy to it that you have to combine with the complexity of not actually killing yourself in this game. I also greatly enjoy Mechathun because if it's a fun OTK deck, and not only that, I like Mechathun. Mechathun was uh, one of my first legendaries I got out of uh, Boomsday, sadly. So, you know. Turn three, Mountain Giant. Don't mind if I do. Don't like putting my hand to nine cards because I have bad experiences with druids milling me and other stuff like that. Not a big fan of it here. So now we got a. We've, we took in quite a bit of damage. I'm going to get a branch, branch out of damage here a little bit. So. Uh, crowd Roaster. Big game right there. Well, fucking play, dude. Gotta say, I haven't played that. I've seen that card in play for quite a while um I doubt he runs two of those that's a really interesting tech card coming into um coming into rank 15 it's really a different play style it's so rank 20 to uh 15 is just kind of this really shitty net deck stuff and now once you get rank 15 you get really weird stuff like this and it's really fun playing against it yeah i'm playing a you know, a net deck deck with some small modifications to it, but I really do enjoy uh, higher ranks of Hearthstone. Not only is it a challenge, but you get to see a lot more creativity. So he's going to armor up. He's going to go face. Pulled my Blood Reaver Gul'dan, so we're gonna go there. I feel like that was a mistake, actually. I feel like that's actually a mistake, because I feel like he has an Executor actually in his back pocket that he's gonna use on that, and if he does, I'm kind of fucked. Not really. I really hope he doesn't have an Execute. Bet that's an Execute. Or it's a Brawl. No, he's gonna... He's gonna, he's gonna play Hungry at Tien. What the fuck? That's all I have to say is, uh, what the actual fuck. I'm dumb and can't count, apparently. So we, I guess we'll just life steal him. Go there. Get through a little bit of that armor there. So we're slowly building a board up here. Slowly building a board, nonetheless. Uh, we're at 50. We're only four cards ahead of him in draw. So I need to be, I need to be life tapping and also playing quite a few of these cards here. These spell stones kind of have to go at some point. Uh, I think next turn, I'm going to Twilight Drake. I need to be hero. I need to be, um,. I need to do 
hero powering and playing a card each turn. So I have how many cards? I'm going to have 10 cards in my hand now. 10 cards in your hand. Your hand is now full. Great. What do I all have here? I have, I'm out of Mechathune. Probably play Hemet. That's exactly what I'm going to do there. Thank you, Hemet. I was actually going to remove him, but that took me from like 14 cards to 9. So that certainly cleared my deck uh, quite a bit. Let's see what this guy has here. Dead Man's Hand. So... Is this Fatigue Warrior we're going against here? This is a very interesting um, Iron Beak Owl. Interesting. Yes, yeah, so now I have, I have a bit of damage on board here, buddy. Actually, I'm two away from, well, now I'm four away from Lethal. Far away from lethal. So unless you have a brawl in the back of your hand here, this is kind of uh, this is kind of GG for you, buddy. Armor up. Ooh, are you gonna? What are you gonna do here? Huh? You're gonna reckless fury. Then what? Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's game right there. Shadow Bolt and beat down. Here we go. Like that, let's open up some packs here. That's not the pack opening option here. Rack stand or frozen throne? Let's open up a frozen throne pack. Nothing too good, you know. I think all five of those probably went to dust. Actually, four of those. So that, that rare must have been uh, an okay rare. All right, so guys, I'm gonna have to cut this one a little bit short here. I got some stuff I gotta do around the house today, but I'll be right back here soon. So this has been Dinner Friday Dinner Steak here and Dinner Daddy playing some Hearthstone Uncut. As always, guys, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Bye bye.